What's up guys? We're back. We're installing another new part. Now, it might seem lame. It is a cheap, inexpensive part, but a lot of the parts on my car are inexpensive, but they're designed to make it more efficient, which is something I like. So, I built my car with a closed deck, two liter Japanese STI block, and most people when they're building a Subaru engine, they opt for a 2.5 liter. They're inexpensive, you can get your hands on straight from the manufacturer, and they're super good. They'll spool your tur they will spool your turbo faster, and generally they make more power. But I wanted something different. And since I'm a rally fan, during this era of WRC, it was required that you had a two liter engine, and that's why I wanted to go with it. I wanted to keep it true to the manufacturer and the motorsport that I like. So, if you're gonna go with a smaller engine and you still wanna make a lot of power, and you still wanna beat bigger displacement engines, you gotta think about efficiency. And the quickest way to lose efficiency and lose power is with heat and high temperatures in your engine, um, high intake air temperatures, stuff like that. So in the past couple episodes, we've done some modifications to keep our engine bay temperatures down and our intake air temperatures down. And we're gonna do another one of those. Super cheap mod, but I'm stoked to see how it fits. My friend Quinn at Rally Sport Direct helped me pick this out, hopefully it's the right size, and it's gonna be an easy install. So, today we are installing a Steam Speed T3 Turbo Blanket. We're installing it on my Precision 5858 Turbo. Um, let's see if I can find the AR size and I'll mention it later, I don't remember off the top of my head. But it's a V-band, in and out. In the box, no instructions, but this should be pretty self-explanatory. It comes with your turbo blanket and two springs. Basically, this sits over the top of your hot side of your turbo and keeps radiant heat in the hot side of the turbo and then going out of your downpipe rather than radiating and heating up everything in your engine bay. The hot side of your turbo gets really hot. Like, it'll be glowing red after you drive it hard a lot of the time. You don't want that going and heating up your intake or your charge pipes and effectively losing a lot of horsepower and a lot of reliability. It looks like it should be a pretty simple install. You've got these hooks right here and right here, and we're basically gonna hook these springs around to secure it tight around the turbo so that it doesn't move anywhere. And your up pipe will come in here, your down pipe will come out here, and this is where your center cartridge will be. So we'll show you how we install it. All right, so this is the hot side of our turbo. The exhaust comes in up here from your header, spools your turbine wheel, and then exits through your downpipe. So as you can see and imagine, this gets really hot. That turbo blanket's gonna install and sit right over the top here, and those springs are gonna run underneath, might be hard to reach, uh, both sides, and attach to keep it clamped down tight. Um, I was able to find the AR uh, just for reference, in case you are wondering what turbo blanket will fit your precision turbo. This is a .64 AR turbine housing, and uh, we're gonna install the T3 blanket on it right now and see how it fits. All right, got it. Seems like a pretty nice product.
If you accidentally let go of one side of the spring while the other is attached, it's gonna launch and it might be hard to find. So be careful with that. Look up the second spring. Make sure it's on there snug. Okay, we got it installed and I'm more hyped on this part than I thought I would be. It fits really well on my turbo and it looks really good. The engine bay is starting to come together and look really clean. And like I said before, I'm hyped on the efficiency. I wanna keep the engine bay as cool and efficient as possible in order to achieve a better, reliable setup. So check it out. Hit me up in the comments below if you have any questions about the turbo blanket or anything else we've installed recently. And stay tuned, we're gonna finish up more modifications to get ready for our dyno day. Later.